Hello everyone. A while back I made this video uh, which outlines how to install the DDWRT firmware on a TP-Link WDR4300 and 750 dual band router. And now I'm getting a lot of questions as to, okay, I've installed the DDWRT firmware. How do I upgrade it to the latest version? Or how do I downgrade it from the version I have because I don't like the way it's working and I like the way the old one was working? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is go get uh, the latest firmware and we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna just open up a tab here. And we're gonna to go to uh, dd-wrt.com and that's the DDWRT firmware website. Once you're there, we're gonna to go to downloads. Then you get the router database, but if you want the latest firmware for any of the routers, you need to go to other downloads. And then under, under other downloads, you'll see betas. Now betas means that they're still in testing, but for the most part, they work well with some caveats. So I'll, I'll get into that. So I clicked on betas and now you get all the years of betas. So I'm gonna go on to the 2015 and then you get a bunch of revisions for this year and as you can see there's been a lot uh, so I, I never ever go for the latest revision I always stay one step back from the latest revision uh, primarily because uh, the latest revision is the only one that's ever burned me uh, basically I had they they released a firmware uh, revision I don't know why but for some reason it was uh, bricking all the routers it was uh, uh, being run on now for, of course eventually they fixed it but you know, before they fixed it, they bricked a lot of routers. So basically what I do is I hang one, one version back and usually when they release the next one, the last one that, that uh, the, the second le uh, most recent version has been fixed of any problems that it had. So I'm gonna go with the uh, R27147 here. And then you get a list of all the routers that that firmware basically pertains to. So here I'm just gonna hit Control F and as you can see, I already have the find up here. And then I'm going to type in uh, WDR, and if you scroll down through the list, you'll see there that the WDR 4300 version 1 is there, and that's the one we're dealing with, so we're going to go there. Now, the firmware upgrade is basically the uh, uh, same uh, as the original, except that you're doing it on, on a uh, router that already has DDWRT. So what, that, what I mean by that is you need to download the factory to DDWRT bin and the TL-WDR4300 web flash bin. Both files are required to do a successful upgrade. All right, so um, I'm just gonna click on one of these. I've already downloaded both of these, but I'm just gonna go through the mechanics here. So you click on the file. Uh, Windows Explorer gives you the option to save or, or save as. I'm gonna shoot, shoot for save as and I'm going to go to my downloads directory and here you can see that I already have a folder called WDR4300 version 1. Now you can put them wherever you want. This is just the way I like to organize them. And then I like to organize them in folders with the revision name on them because as you can see over here, the actual files themselves don't have the revision numbers on them. So you don't know which file it is and if you, you know, got a bunch in the same folder, you're guessing it to, as to what they pertain to. So I just choose this way, naming folders for the revision number. That way I know what's inside the folder. So I double click it and there it is. I already have it. I'll click save here. And you have to do the same thing for both files. So I'm going to assume that you, you will do that as opposed to going through the uh, procedure of doing it for both. So save, you want to replace it. Of course, you're not going to get that replacing statement there. Here, basically what I've done is downloaded both of these to a folder and named it appropriately. Now I have as you saw there earlier, that I downloaded some later or sorry, some earlier versions, and uh, they're all available here. So if you want to go backwards, again, it'll be the same procedure. But I'll show you that in a in a minute. So I'm going to assume that you have the you know that you're going to the latest version, and then you don't like the latest version, so you're going to go backwards. So um, you know we'll go through the mechanics of doing that next. So next thing you need to do. And this is a really, really strong thing. Uh, I, I can't stress it enough. And that is you have to physically connect your router to your computer, the computer you're, you're uh, gonna do the firmware upgrade from. And this is what I mean by that. You should have this setup. Well, I'm using a laptop here, but it's up to you what you're using. And you got the WDR4300 uh, there. And into one of the orange ports, you're gonna plug in the uh, the patch cable that came with the, the uh, router and if you don't have it 
then go get one and the other side is going to be plugged into the LAN port on my on my laptop with you it could be a PC doesn't matter as long as you're physically connected with a LAN cable to the router you're good to go next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna isolate uh, the router and you and what I mean by that is so that there's no chance that you can do this through Wi-Fi next thing you're gonna do is go over here to your network icon or your uh, Wi-Fi icon here click on it and then you're gonna open uh, network and sharing center so we'll click on that then we're gonna change adapter settings so we'll click on that and then we're gonna to go to your wireless network connection right here and we're gonna disable it we'll come back at the end of the uh, video and re-enable it so that you have it uh, working again but we're gonna disable this now okay so I'm disabling it I'm assuming you've already plugged in your router into your uh, laptop like I have here and that it's it's uh, working so let's right click that connection the local area connection and let's look at the status to see what's going on with that and as you can see it's a one gigabit per second connection as the router has that and so does my computer then go to details and you see we have a 192.168.1.148 IP address that's correct and the gateway is 192.168.1.1 and the gateway by the way is the router so this is the IP address you're going to be using to look at the router so we know this is all working and one more thing I want to show you here go to properties on this the local area connection and go to internet protocol version 4 TCP IP double click it and make sure that you've got the op obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically and then hit OK and now we know it's configured correctly and it's going to work just fine and your Wi-Fi is off so there's no way that you can possibly uh, be using your Wi-Fi to flash this router it can only be accessed through the LAN cable and that's what we want so we're going to close this off here now we're going to go to the router which is just open up this tab here uh, 192.168.1.1 that's the default IP address for the uh, DD-WRT firmware so I'm assuming that you had it set to that if it's different change it okay so now we're here at the uh, DDWRT uh, control panel and if you want to check to see what version you're currently running just in case you don't know um, click up here under uh, beside firmware that's actually a link and if you click on it it comes up with this and it tells you which revision you're running here it's, it's revision my, in my case it's 27119 so uh, as we know that's not the latest version but it's basically I'm going to upgrade from that to the second to the latest version so I'm going to close that off then we go to administration here and then we're going to go to uh, firmware upgrade now before I do this I want to show you one more thing here you see the tab over here to back up you may have uh, configured your router in a certain way in other words you've uh, got you know you've changed your IP address or you've forwarded something from one place to another like port 80 to another computer or whatever uh, configuration you've done to your router you may want to save it in order to do that all you have to do is go to the backup tab hit backup and then you get an option to save the NV RAM back bin file and wherever you save that that is your backup file to restore it now once you have it saved all you need to do to restore it is just click on uh, here to browse well, to where you save that NV RAM back file and then just click on restore and you're done I just want to give you that quick primer on that so then we're going to go back to firmware upgrade here here all we need to do is choose our files to upgrade so we're going to do that right here just hit browse and of course I have mine under the download directory so we'll go to downloads then uh, WDR 4300 version 1 that's where I put it and we're going from 119 here to the 14 the 217 sorry the 27147 double click on that and you have to of course like I stated before use both files so first you start with the factory to DDWRT bin file we'll go with that then we hit upgrade and this will take a little bit so I'll fast forward to the end of the process all right here we are back at the control panel for the router uh, if, like I said if it doesn't go back to it automatically just put the IP address uh, back in here and then hit enter and we're, you'll get back to it next we have to do it one more time and this time with the other file so go back to the administration tab firmware upgrade 
And then, I mean, just to prove this to you, to show you something here, I'm going to go back to the firmware link up there. And you'll see it still says 27119, even though we flashed it with the latest uh, uh, first file. So go back to browse. So the factory to DDWRT uh, bin file just prepares the router for this file. So now we're going to go with the TL WDR 4300 web flash bin file and then hit open. Then we're going to hit upgrade. And again, uh, I'll pick this up at the end of the process. All right, we're back at the control panel, and that is the final flash for the 271147. So let's go take a look and see what the, our revision says now under firmware. And it, there you go, 27147. We've got the, we've upgraded it to uh, 27147 successfully. So, okay, so you've got 27147, and it's working okay for you, but you don't find that it's doing, it, it's as fast, or maybe it's not doing something for you that the other. Uh, older revision was doing for you and you want to go back so let's do that go to administration again and again it's the same process uh, firmware upgrade uh, choose browse now we're going to go back here in my folders to the 26446 choose the factory to DDWRT bin and click on open then click on upgrade and I'll pick that up at the end of this uh, process all right, that was step one. Next, we're going to go back to administration again. Actually, we'll just take a look at the firmware number here. And you can see it still says 27147, just like the last time. Until you get the second part done, you haven't actually successfully upgraded it. So administration tab again, firmware upgrade. Then we're going to hit on browse again. Then we're going to go to the T-WDR, sorry, TL-WDR4300 dash web flash bin that's the second file and the one that finishes the, the flash process so hit open I'm gonna hit upgrade again and I'll pick it up at the end all right so the successful flash there let's go back to administration actually let's go over here to the firmware again okay so there we are administration but I want to see what revision it says right now the 26446 uh, revision is in now okay but personally I'm not going to use it because I find that it's it's a little uh, cumbersome it doesn't seem to work as well as the uh, uh, 20, 27147 which is so far my favorite out of all of them so uh, then at this point uh, the next thing you want to do is go down to your network icon we got to turn your network card your Wi-Fi card back on so network icon open network and sharing center and then change adapter settings and take your wireless network connection from disabled by right clicking on it highlighting it right clicking on it and enable okay and there it's enabled now you can unplug your your uh, uh, hardwired cable from your router and connect to it through Wi-Fi if you wish so that's it for upgrading or downgrading your firmware files on a WDR 4300 version 1 that's it for my video thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and, uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or the Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.